Morning everyone, it's the morning of the match. It's the wooden spoon derby for who's <laughs> going to finish bottom of the league. It's Blackpool versus Wigan. We went down yesterday to Wigan to see a charity walk for Joseph's goal and we're meeting them today here at the Plum Tree Farm. To welcome them to Blackpool after a, a night in Preston which uh, must have been uh, the hardest part of the walk for them I would have thought. Yes, a bit of a grim part. In fact they did say that it was raining all over Preston the minute they got somewhere near Blackpool the sun has come out and it's absolutely gorgeous. It is, it's a beautiful You know it's day, always so. gorgeous here. So we don't know how the match is going to go. Hopefully it's going to be a great match. Um, if you're going to Blipper Road, we'll see you there. But in the meantime, let's just check out the guys arriving at Plum Tree Farm. Thank you. Forks now. Thank you very much. So I'm Emma Kendrick and I'm Joe's mum. Um, the walk for Joseph this year yep. has been uh, fantastic once again. We try and do this every year when we can, when it's not the pandemic. Uh, and yeah, just humbled to see everybody's efforts to do this two day walk for Joe. Lots of money's been raised, tremendous effort has been made. Got lots of injuries going on, blisters, sore feet, somebody hurt their hips yesterday I believe. Um, and remarkable because yesterday was so rainy, although the sun is now out today. It's been fantastic to see everybody today. Um, my hairs have been standing on end for the last two days. Um, it's just amazing to be around everyone and see the effort that they make for Joe. Thank you so much. All right. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You made it. Cool. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, the film just starting off well. Too. You're the first ones in, I think. How did it go? Yeah, it's good. The weather has changed. It was like one degree in Preston, and it obviously rained all day yesterday in Preston. Today, yeah. Yeah, Sunny perfect, Blackfield. isn't it? I think it's burning my head at the back, but never mind. It's no price to pay. <laughs> well done. Ah, <laughs> uh, can't really wait for that. In. Well done. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> yeah. I'm just now at a little car park. We're waiting for the Wigan fans to come down Bluefield Road, so they're almost here, about five minutes away. Grimmy's in, Nelson's in, uh, Fiorini's in, Bowler and Pervader. And Yates, Jerry Yates is back. Oh, Jerry Yates is back, right. Bloody hell, that's an attack inside again, isn't it? It's <laughs> put Grimmy in Nets as well, so that should, yeah. that should please everybody. Right, here they come. Well done. Up at six. <laughs> well, well done. Well done. Well done. How's it been the walk? Okay. Yeah? Good sore feet though. Have you? <laughs> uh, I had a belly on yesterday on my head. Oh yes of course you did. Yeah, yes, yeah. Of course you did. yeah. How's the walk been? It's been all right, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, it's good actually. I'm Could have done with a bit of rain today. Yes, it's a bit hot here today. Bit warm. Absolutely, well, well done. I'm a bit aching. How's it been? Oh, brilliant. Yeah. 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 It's not never. You got any blisters? <laughs> I'm all right. No legs are a bit achy. But... How have you done? How's it been? The walk? Pleasant. Yeah. yeah, yeah not too bad. <laughs> Pleasant. <laughs> we definitely do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely <laughs> next year. Absolutely. <laughs> right. Hi, you made it. You're gonna win. You're gonna win. Okay. Well, best of luck if you do. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> That's twice we've been there, isn't it? How are your feet? Uh, blistered, I think. You enjoyed it though? Absolutely. Yeah, you've done it. Yeah, you've done it. Well done, well done, well done. Thank you. Well done. How are you doing, Tony? You all right? How are you doing? Yeah, that was fantastic. 33 miles. Yeah. All right, lad. It was tough, tough. My legs are sore, my feet are sore, but it was well worth it. Yeah. Great. We raise a lot of money for charity, and that's that's the main thing. You deserve it, really. Well, my name's Dave, and I work here at Blackpool FC Hotel. Um, I work in the hotel during the week, but at weekends I do the hospitality for not only Blackpool fans, but as you can see, we've got more of Wigan fans who took the trouble for charity. I think it's about 24 miles they've walked, but visiting supporters, they really are welcome when they're coming here. We treat everybody the same. In, I've worked here 18 months and I've never even seen a bit of trouble 
with any supporters at all. It's a pleasure looking after them. It's a great greeting when we came here, so thank you. Thank you very much for doing a great job for Blackpool well, Football Group. Thank well, you. it's a pleasure. I seem to curse everybody I put on the front cover. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give you them earlier because I knew you had enough to carry. <laughs> oh, I'm all right now, we're all done, thank you for that. Yeah. Well done, Jimmy. Well done. Thank you, thank you. How's it feel? It's good, yeah, you know, it's, um, it's all satisfying, it's hard, and because it's a bit shorter than last year, you think, oh, it'd be easy, but it's never easy. You know, you think those two foot six and a half mile stretches between like Preston and Blackpool, it's a very long road, but it's flat, which is better than, you know, at least it's not up and down. We did Halifax one year. Like that, so. um, I believe you've lost a few along the way, a couple of injuries. Yeah, it's, it's, injury a young one. it's a family thing. We do get some quite young kids do it. A lot of them got like blisters and struggling. And it's um, it's hard keeping the keeping the group together. But um, we stopped at the top. We walked down Bloomfield Road. And it's, yeah, it's, um, there's a lot of feel good feel good factor about it. You know, I know both our clubs are um, somewhat in the mud at the minute, but um, it reminds you that a football club is for life and it's about community and friendship. And there's so many people in this walk. They come on their own and they make friends, and it's a really good thing to do. Um, and we, you know, we raised it for twenty thousand pounds, which is ridiculous. And it's just giving up a small part of time to do something good, good in the world. Which is, you know, you can't support all the charities. So we've, we've thrown our hat into this one. It, it just does remarkably well, really. It's a great event. We love doing it. Well done. Uh, today in the uh, El Crapico, we call it. Yeah. <laughs> That's putting it in the light, I think, yeah. Is this the last chance to lose, you reckon? Oh, it's not looking good, is it, Lee? Yeah. If it's over today, then it's uh, it's over today, isn't it? Yeah, from Lucy, yeah, we're done. We're down. Do you yeah, think if we win, we've got a chance? There's still not a chance. It's a tiny chance. <laughs> a tiny chance. But you never know, you never know what the new manager and, uh, you know, well, he's one of our own. To the players, yeah. He's one of our own. He's attacking the team minded. Sheet, the team sheet today looks encouraging, doesn't it? Yeah, um, so. yeah we'll go. We'll go and have a go, won't we? And uh, fingers if, crossed. If we lose, I, I'll probably be staying at home on Tuesday night. <laughs> okay. To be honest with you, but uh, yeah, for you. Right, I'll be here right. next season, mate. Come on! We are going to win one nil because we have a decent keeper in, and we need this today. All right, we're trying sixteen today. Changing the look. <laughs> Can we win? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely win 2 1, I think. 2 1? 2 1. What do you reckon? 3 1. 3 1. 2 1. I think it's starting Grimshaw, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's starting Grimshaw. Uh, right, here we go. Different turnstile. We're going to throw a few. but not doing much with it. Jane has a philosophy on this. No, it's like playing us, so we shouldn't worry about giving them away. I think it's in maybe the Dobby effect on Jerry Yates. He's 
Into a first half injury times, got to blow the whistle any second, surely. Four minutes seems a lifetime ago. Surely it's time to blow, ref. Yeah, that's it, half time. Well, that's half time, folks, and we're winning 1 0. We didn't let the dreaded goal in at half time. We tried our best to let the dreaded goal in at half time, to be honest. Uh, we've given possession away a heck of a lot. Really, Wigan have been have had a lot of the ball, but as Jane said, they're not doing a lot with it. Well, their fans said, didn't they, that they can't score? So you know, we're seeing evidence of that. So, but you know, we're giving it a good go. We're inviting them in. The game has held my attention for 45 minutes, so that is a positive. I'm not drifting off thinking about you know where I'm going to have a beer tonight and what I'm having for my tea, like I usually do. So it's, that's a positive, really. Sun's shining. We're winning. Uh, all's well with the world. It's all a bit sort of drab, there's not a lot of noise, there's not a lot of atmosphere. We're gonna have packed up with no, a song. They, they were singing and then they've kind of, yeah, yeah gone off the wall a bit, yeah. We've all given up, <laughs> all given up haven't we? <laughs> One of the Wigan fans called this the El Crapico. <laughs> it could be, yeah. it's kind of, yeah, it, it is the wooden spoon derby. We've we got to win it, I just keep praying we're going to get a second goal and just take a little bit of pressure off because it's nervy when Blackpool are one nil and I, I just hope that, that, that we can do it you know we, we get another and get three points from the Dobby it'd be great for him great to see Jerry get a goal goal it was a great goal scoring in two minutes off the inside post and in uh, which must have given him a bit of confidence because it's not a penalty he's actually scored a goal and it's glad to, it's just good to have him back uh, we've gone with an attacking team, haven't we really? Yeah, today. No, I'd we... like to see Stephen Dobby do well. I'd like him to get the job, actually. I, you know, I'd like to win the, the last five games of the season, and so it's difficult not to give it to him. You know, he's he's giving it a go, isn't he? So he, he gets Blackpool. He lives in Blackpool. You yeah. know, he's he, he knows what's worked for us in the past. So I'd love to see him do well here. Um, whether that's you know, whether they're even considering that or whether, I don't know. Well, I don't know, we'll see anyway. It, us, it all depends. If we win the last five games, he will get a knighthood. Uh, on. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Stephen Dobby, who saved Blackpool. But anyway, it's, uh, before we go back to the second half, I just need to mention our match day sponsors, Tangerine Hotels. If your team are playing Blackpool and you're thinking of making a weekend of it, then this is the hotel for you. It caters specifically for football fans. They've got a fantastic sports bar showing Sky Sports TV and BT Sports. You get a great breakfast and it's only a short walk away from the ground. Call me now on 01 253 790 909 or visit tangerinehotels.co.uk. So there you go. If you're coming to Blackpool, it's a no-brainer. Book into the Tangerine Hotels, you'll have a great time while you're here. Right, back to the second half. Hopefully we can do it. We're smiling at the moment. Can we be smiling coming out? Stay tuned to find out. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Right, back out for the second half. Grimmy Nets. There he is. Just a little break in play here. Husband has had a bit of a head injury. It looks a bit serious, we're not quite sure. Hopefully he's all right. Um, Medics. It's again, it's pretty, oh, medics are coming on now as well, so hopefully this isn't too stretch bad. Stretch is coming on as well. This is husband. I'm afraid he's like play off the But anyway, it's, uh, it's pretty much similar to how it was first half. Uh, we're giving the ball away a lot, so it's nervy here. Plus injury time is going to be about 10 minutes injury time as well. Oh, we don't want to go folks. We're trying to lift him, we're trying to lift him. Nine minutes of injury time. And they're really jealous. Jealous of him. He can't string two glasses together. He's like hanging on for grim death. We have had the ball down that end for at least a minute or so. So come it's on. It's definitely El Crapico. It's the middle to its name. It's just getting gradually worse and worse every minute. Starting off, we were playing like Brazil for about five minutes. I don't know, it's just 
this kid is getting worse by the minute. <laughs> We're at nine to go. We're okay. Pray for us, everyone. Pray for us. <laughs> Starts again. Oh, in here, folks. That way, Jesus. Where's that two? Where was that actually? Two? We've got about 30 seconds to go, folks. It's down in that far corner where you want it. Keep it down there. We won. We actually won a game. I'm not quite sure how we won a game, to be honest, but we did win a game. Wigan seemed to have all possession and Blackpool couldn't string three passes together, but we turned up for the first two minutes, got a great goal. We're smiling, we've won. Is there... Can we, can we, can we win more? Can we get out of this? I used to have a cat called Benjamin. Um, yes. Ginger. Tom. And one day, Somehow, we're having a kitchen done or something, and a mouse got into the kitchen, and he got this mouse, and he was sort of like playing with it, and he was, he was just like sucking it and batting it about, and he didn't know really what to do with this mouse. He was like, I've never seen a mouse before. What do I do with that? And that's a bit like Wigan today with the ball. It's like, yeah, we've got the ball. What are we supposed to do with this? Well, they were saying how you know they couldn't put it in the net, and it's like really. They, and they're like, they had all this possession, but what, what, did, I mean, they, what did they do with I, it? I don't think Grimshaw actually had a save in the second half to make, so, yeah. you know, it's I've just... I've never seen a football before, it was very <laughs> weird. Um, right. So it, it was, it was a terrible, honestly, it was a crap game of football, but we won, so... Uh, yeah, we won, and uh, so you never know, it could four, just... Four it, more of them, please. It, it could Steve, just turn you've got some... the job. <laughs> yeah, four more wins, Steve, come on, you can do it. So, thanks for watching, I hope you really enjoy it. This video, there's not a lot of anything in it really to be honest because there wasn't a lot but, but the, the, the fans were great cheering on at the end giving them everything the great escape theme and uh, yeah just happy to win for you lot and everybody is coming out with us well. no 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 yeah that's it coming out smiles on our faces James runs off James going off from here well I'm going to go back and do the phone in so I'll see you in the phone in <laughs> so I'll ring in, call in for the phone in at six o'clock. Let me know what you think. Played well. Yeah, played well. There we are. We defended well. I mean, I, I don't think Grimmy had a shot to say. We need to sign Nelson. Needs to get needs to get Paul in Nelson signed up. I'd sign Nelson. Yeah, he's a good player, isn't he? I think, I, I, right. I think what I would do, I'd give Dobby, I'd give him to the end of the season. If we go down and we're playing better, give him yeah. the job. Right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. You know, I don't see what, who else we're gonna get. None of well, I think, well, I said earlier. If we can win all the last five, I think he'll get a knighthood. The thing is, the next <laughs> two are we'll winnable it. games. West Brom have nothing really to play for. Birmingham are mid-table, so... Yeah. But it's why well the other teams lose, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, anyway... Anyway, all We best. carry on. We're not down right. yet, thanks. Yeah, right. yeah, we're not down yet, folks. You've all mean... Oh, do I? Right. Okay. Zero <laughs> possibility. It's yeah. possible, isn't it? Of course it is, yeah. We've got to stay up, probably. If we win our next two games, aren't relegation zone, we'll carry on from there. All we need is positivity. Yes. Keep, keep on going, keep on trying, we can stay up. Absolutely. Daniel Grimshaw did better than Chris Maxwell today. He didn't really have a lot to do, to be fair. <laughs> I don't think he had a yeah. save to me that second half, did he? But anyway, yeah. <laughs>